Hi everyone, thanks for watching us. This video demonstrates how to perform spirometric examination of forced vital capacity with Spirospectrum system produced by Neurosoft. Spirospectrum is PC-based pneumotachograph with built-in temperature, atmospheric pressure and humidity sensors, three little calibration syringe, the complete set of accessories for normal working day without hygienic break and with high accuracy software that meets all actual ATS and ERS standardization of spirometry. According to the latest update of guidelines, daily calibration should be performed at low, medium and high flow. So connect flow meter to calibration syringe, follow the instructions and perform smooth movements of plunger not less than three times in each direction at three flow levels to complete the proper calibration. Enter the patient's name, date of birth, biological gender, height, weight, Ask the patient if he or she smokes, select a suitable prediction and ethnic origin. You can use preset predicted values or create your own ones. Now you are ready to start the examination. There are four distinct phases of FTC maneuver. Maximal inspiration, a blast of expiration, continued complete expiration for a maximum of 15 seconds and inspiration at maximal flow back to maximum lung volume. The operator must demonstrate the appropriate technique and follow the procedure. Correct posture with head slightly elevated, inspire rapidly until completely full, expire with maximum effort until completely empty, and inspire with maximum effort until completely full. Confirm that patient understands the instructions and is willing to comply. The patient should insert the mouthpiece and be instructed to breathe normally. During the inspiration, the operator should coach the patient using phrases such as more, more, more. At full inflation, without hesitation, the patient should be prompted to blast. Continuous and enthusiastic coaching of the patients is required throughout the maneuver, using appropriate body language and phrases such as keep going. Upon completing the forced expiration, the patient should rapidly inspire to full inflation. Achieve a minimum of three acceptable FEV1 and three acceptable FVC measurements. To evaluate the within maneuver and between maneuver measurements, meet the criteria from ATS and ERS standardization of spirometry. Check FEV1 and FVC repeatability, back extrapolated volume, duration of maneuver and satisfact with the end of forced expiration. For bronchodilatator responsiveness test, choose the bronchodilatator, dose, the duration and perform the test. The procedure is completely the same with FVC pre-bronchodilatator test. For subjective assessment of patient's condition between appointments, use patient service, get the result immediately and save it for the report. Report measured values as a percentage of predicted values or as Z-scores. Create a report, use automatically generated conclusion if necessary and print the report or save as PDF file. At the end of examination, follow the hygienic regulations. For disinfection, disassemble the flow meter, put all its parts as well as reusable mouthpieces into disinfectant solutions for a proper time and then dry all accessories and assemble it. Use a disinfector flow meter and mouthpiece for every patient. If you prefer disposable accessories, use disposable mouthpieces with or without bacterial filter. You can visit our website narrowsoft.com anytime for more information or reach out to us via email info at narrowsoft.com if you have any specific question. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day!